Well, 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 two days to go. Jeez, it goes quick. And thanks again for joining me, and I hope you've had a lot of fun along the way, and so have I. And I'm sure you're going to miss my knock-knock jokes, but I'll save them for next year. That's a promise. Now, let's look at yesterday's question. What was it that Gooby found when they implemented the Arpedio solution? If you guessed that they got rid of the gut feeling and went with the data, then you got it right. So well done. So to answer today's question, have a look at this little clip from one of our LinkedIn Lives from earlier this year. We interviewed Alexander Erschkenberger, excuse my accent there, the VP of Strategy and Growth at Contract Book, where we discuss the art of building a team for the commercial sale. Have a look. So one of the things that I learned is that until you can look at your team and be comfortable that they know the product, they know the process, they know the market, they know how to sell it if we talk AE specifically or BDRs, that you have people that are going to be your cornerstones. They're going to be the, the, the picture of how it should be. Unless you have that and you're comfortable you have that, you shouldn't be scaling in any meaningful sense. You can do replacement hires, you can do one hire, or, or two, but you shouldn't start adding and scaling because you're actually not ready to scale if you don't have that under control. Which brings me to today's question. What are the essential prerequisites a sales team needs to consider before expanding into their sales force? Hmm. If you watch the clip, you should get it right. And I look forward to seeing you for our last day tomorrow.